Hi everyone, this is video three in our editing and engineering course. You know a bit about your MacBook Pro and you know how to start a movie project and import footage on your computer, but there is an easy way to add footage still, a fifth way. I'll show you it in a moment. But before I do, some of you may have noticed that we didn't save our work in iMovie last week, but it still is on our computer in iMovie, just where we left it. How did that happen? Well, with iMovie, it automatically saves your project, so it's supposed to help you never lose your movie. Brilliant, right? It saves your movie project for you, so you really don't have to save. So that's a good thing. Now, what's that additional method for importing footage into iMovie? Well, here we have the screen, just as we left it last week with all our footage in this event and our movie and Jex drone. If you click on the import button, that downward arrow again, click on it and you'll notice that the import screen or pane or window comes up just like before. Well, if you click on FaceTime here, it opens up a screen. So obviously I'm sitting in semi-darkness recording for you. But when you press this red button, it actually records you talking. And so I'll do that for a second. Hi everyone, this is Terry. I'm recording on FaceTime. And when I press the button, it stops. As easy as that. So you can add this fifth method and use this fifth method that I think you'll enjoy. Next, let's talk about the iMovie interface. It's designed to put almost everything in front of you in one window while you make a movie. But this one movie window holds a variety of different panes, and each pane has a different purpose. You've already seen the project and import windows. Remember, when we click on the arrow, there, um, what will pop up is the import window. I close that, and then if you click on projects, then you can see your, your movie, your project movie. And you won't be using that import and project pane too much anymore. We're gonna go over the other panes and this right here is where you'll be doing your work to make your movie. And there's various sections that you should be aware of. The first is the library pane and that's over here on the left. It lists the projects and events we've already created. For example, our engineering drone project is right here. Also, all movies that have been imported into iMovie are located in the iMovie library. And if at any time you want to hide the library to give yourself more room, you can do so by pressing on this button right here and you'll see those words disappear. At the top of the library, there are some words that take you to different content. So they're called the content libraries. For editors, they're a little like your very own toy store, and they're located up here. You can access some of this content by clicking on them. So if you click on audio, let's click on it, you'll see that there's iTunes, nothing in there. Sound effects, ooh, lots of sound effects. And GarageBand, nothing in there right now. But if you click on sound effects and then find one that you want to hear, uh, let's click on Cartoon Trill and then press the button. Ooh, I like sound effects. And you start to see how they can really enrich your movie. So this area, when you click on my media, is showing you the, uh, the media, let's see, in your, in your movie. All right, this is the, the import that we've done. 
all the footage, and this area is called your browser. These little buttons up here that show a picture let you know that these are still images. If there isn't a little picture on your clip or, or still, then you know it's actual footage. So this is footage, okay? Another thing that the browser contains is this button right here. And you can actually control how your browser looks when you press here. It controls the clip size, how big it is, and it shows you how long it is as well by playing with this button. And if you click on this audio button, you can turn off audio so that you know that there's audio with the clip or turn it on. I actually like to see it. Something you may have noticed is that when I clicked on something in the browser, like this, it appears over here in what's called the viewer window. So that's true if you just skim over it with your finger or if you activate it by clicking. All right? So things in the browser show up in what's called the viewer. Above the viewer are icons for more advanced editing. This one corrects color, this, whoops, not color, color balance, color correction, cropping. This is to stabilize your footage if it's a little shaky. This helps the volume. This is to adjust the speed of your clip. This is for special effects, and this can give you information about your clip. And this little button over here, you can press it to improve the quality of any clip at any time. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, this is your movie timeline pane. It's here where you stitch various images, footage, sound, and more together to make your movie. And we're just about to get started with building that movie. So to prepare, try adding a clip from your browser into your timeline pane. I'm going to add this one. 